Hey guys, welcome back to Home Theater Guru. So today we're gonna to be checking out this beastly amp right here, the Summit Hi-Fi A2. This is an AB amplifier putting out a massive 350 watts at eight ohms per channel, 600 watts at four ohms, and you can bridge this bad boy into a mono amplifier for a thousand watts at eight ohms. Signal noise ratio of 118 dB, harmonic distortion less than 0.03%. It's kind of hard to miss that humongous screen, but it has a stunning 10.1 inch 1080 by 1920p screen. So that is a massive screen. Dimensions come in at 17.13 wide, 9.25 inches high, and 18 and a half inches deep. With the feet, it's 10.4 inches tall. This thing has a gross weight of 83 pounds. This is a lot of amplifier right here, 83 pounds for a two channel amp. Like all this stuff from Summit Hi-Fi, this stuff is packed incredibly well. The amp is wrapped in this black sock right here to kind of protect it. In the box we also have, we have an owner's manual, you've got your power plug, and you've got some gloves. I didn't use the gloves because I didn't want to drop this sucker. And there's also a protective covering over the screen. Let's go ahead and pull that off so we can see it in all its glory. All right, so let's go ahead and check out everything on the back. We'll look at any buttons that are on the front, and then we're gonna open this cover and check out the inside of this thing. All right, so we've got our nice beefy output terminals to connect our speakers. We've got a balanced input. We have an unbalanced input, like an RCA cable, and we have a switch to switch between the two. Now we also have a stereo mono switch. This is if you want it to run it in bridged mode. Uh, we've got an in and out that is, I'm assuming that is a trigger. According to the specs, a 15 to 30 volt AC-DC trigger. So that's our trigger in and out. So we can feed it in here and then feed out to another amp or whatever to also turn that amp on. Uh, we've got trigger on and off. And of course, then we have our inputs for the other channel. And if we look underneath that, we actually have a little switch where we can remove the plastic uh, clear cover and switch it to 230 volts if we wanted to run it like that. We've got a breaker right there with an on off. All right, so let's go ahead and fire it up. All right, I do have the, the lights are kind of dim in here just so I can kind of pick up the screen a little bit better. So let's see how many brightness steps we have right now. It's on the dimmest setting. One, two, three, four. So four brightness steps, and then we can go all the way down to off. Let's go ahead and scroll through some of the different settings. Now the uh, the screen is extremely sharp. Again, this is a, uh, what is it? 1080 by 1920. It is definitely an upgrade from the version one. All right. Once I get this hooked up, these are gonna look really, really good. Now Amir did tell me he is gonna have some updates where you can have different screens and so these are not going to be the only options in the future. You'll have some more options. All right, now this cover is actually really heavy. I mean, this is probably seven or eight pounds itself. I mean, this is thick. So a lot of times on amps, you will see very, very thin sheet metal. This is actually some very, very stout uh, sheet metal. It's, it's not anything that's gonna bend very easily, which is nice to see. Oh, wow. This is a beast. Each uh, amp channel has its own side here and it's got plenty of cooling. See, there's vents underneath it with very large heat sinks and vents of course on top so everything is very very well vented plenty of heat sinks and again this thing is so solid the build of it is just really really good this is not a cheesy stamp metal chassis it's it's really nice i mean look at the size of the cables that they used that's 10 gauge cables they have feeding the terminals are soldered in place they didn't use you know cheap spades it's all soldered. This, this thing is really well done. All right, so I'm gonna put this thing back together and I'm going to be using this probably with some uh, per listens, the new A-Line they have coming out. I'm actually a per listen dealer 
And also, speaking of being a dealer, I'm going to be have a website coming up, Home Theater Gurus, uh, with dashes between the home theater and gurus.com. Uh, we're gonna have these amps plus a lot of other amps, but uh, I do have a sweet spot for the Summit Hi-Fi amps just because of their bang for the buck. They're great amps. I've been I've had them in my theater for a couple of years. They are they're awesome. You know, I've had the Tone Winner and now these. But uh, so I am gonna have those on my website. You can also get those from Amir. These amps directly from him down in the description. Uh, but yeah, so I'm gonna be running these with some Per Listen Towers, the new A line, which is kind of their budget line coming out. So I'm gonna have those in my living room slash one of my demo rooms because I have the theater, the demo, some gear. But this two channel lamp right here, I really wanna get on a two channel system so I can really test it out. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be a lot of fun. All right guys, so if you don't wanna miss that video or miss any of the new ones coming out, don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss those. That's gonna be it for this one guys. I'll see y'all for the next one.